Welcome back, everyone, to Rimworld and to the Colony of Noble's Rest, where apparently we have low food. That is a lie. How dare. Uh, we are, however, fairly low on power. And to this end, we're going to need to install our backup batteries. I really should have gotten on that a little bit earlier. Uh, do we have anyone around in the base who could take care of this? No. Everyone is currently out, though Evil Friend is bringing a few things back, so I'll probably have Evil Friend get on that uh, right away. If you could prioritize installing this battery so that our coolers don't shut down, well, that would be grand. There we go. Let's uh, get all of that running. And then uh, we'll probably swap this one out, though. Uh, as the wind picks up, that battery will start charging again. Now, everyone is, uh, well, honestly, a little bit close to breaking. Uh, there's a lot of things they're having to do constantly, running outside to, to do them. Uh, what are we picking up there? We are picking up some thrombofer. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, I forgot that we had a delivery of that. That is extremely extremely good news. I don't want you prioritizing that. Let's get this uh, Parker back in as quickly as we can. The thing about Parkers and why you should go out of your way to haul those as quickly as possible in any armor really is that as armor loses durability it becomes less useful. Guns on the other hand 99% or 1% guns are generally more tolerant of uh, of breaking uh, or rather being in, in, in a low state of repair before they become less useful to the colonists. But armor absolutely does affect it because they'll start suffering with a ratty apparel fairly quickly. Bone Dragon is wandering around in a daze. That is uh, unfortunate timing, mate. A very unfortunate timing. Let's have a look at your toxic buildup. 18%. Uh, we may have to drag you off. We might have to do that. Bone Dragon. Um... Yes, I'm afraid we're going to have to. We need Bone Dragon brought in. Lady Wolfheart, if you could possibly arrest Bone Dragon. We can't allow them to stay out here. It's going to upset them to have been arrested. But it is so much worse if they have to be out here. So, so much worse. Uh, I'm going to allow Evil Friend to just get that in there and then uh, immediately do his own thing. There we go. Do whatever you need to take care of yourself. Let's get Bone Dragon in there, and then we're going to immediately release Bone Dragon. Right, prisoner, I want him released. All we wanted to do was stop him from wandering outside. Uh, prioritize releasing Bone Dragon, please. There we go. And uh, that uh, that break is finished. Now, if we have a quick look in at needs, we don't get the uh, catharsis. Uh, bonus that uh, you usually will get. We even said uh, people are very unhappy with the fact that so many innocent prisoners have died and it took them so bloody long to do it. Uh, it would have been a little bit better if we'd uh, taken care of them directly, I suppose. Uh, oh, that has not been given back to you. My bad there, Pepster. Go ahead and head back to bed if you want to. Uh, you can also grab a meal, of course. Of course you can. We've got plenty of food in there for now. It is not no food. Stop telling me fibs. Now, I do want to bring in these shells because we cannot yet make these these uh, shells at all. So uh, we want to get those in as, as soon as we possibly can. Uh, right, how is everything else going? Generally speaking, things are okay. Iker is still recovering. It's going to take a while. The, the wounds are still... Uh, I mean, I would say they're light at this point, but in combination, they're quite... You know, he's moderately wounded. It's going to take a while before he is uh, back on his feet properly. And we have no idea how long it's going to take Dark Abak to recover from his psychosis. So uh, hopefully it won't take over long. Yoko, you can pretty much eat whatever corpse you want for now. I mean, ideally it would be the humans with there, but uh, well, I guess we'll just have to see how this goes. Now, Yoko, where are you currently limited to? I'm actually going to allow you to go anyway. You should be generally okay. Yeah, you, I'll, I'll be keeping a very close eye on Yoko's, uh, on Yoko's uh, toxic buildup. The moment it gets over 5%, we're going to have her uh, restricted again. Not while she's pregnant. We're, we're not going to be as uh, willing for her to uh, roam around and, and allow that to build up as usual, but uh, she can go out for little wanders here and then. It would actually help us a great deal for her to do so, so uh, I'm, I'm totally on board with that. But Things in the colony are reasonably quiet. The 
fields are almost ready to be harvested. Hopefully, Ica is going to to uh, be up and ready to deal with that soon. Because I really would rather it be Ica than anyone else, ideally. Lady Wolfheart is going to go and grab a pack of survival meal. Good, because you are hungry and then you want some recreation. Uh, and I am inclined to let you take care of that. Frankly, you need it. Let's see how this goes. There you go. Mood is rising. Mood is risen all the way. Going to feed Dark Havoc. Thank you very much for that. I uh, appreciate it enormously. Uh, battery is running down already. So let's uninstall this battery as soon as we can. Evil friend, that's going to be your job. And then we are promptly going to install this one because the other battery is starting to run down. So uh, let's get these done, please. No, no, no. Do it now. Not after the next job because the, the colony is going to run out of power much sooner than I would like. We need to get our power supplies uh, hooked back up. Specifically, we want to get that one finished. We really want to get this windmill up and running because it's going to connect them, and then we'll see how things go from there. Now, hopefully, we're going to be able to bring in uh, the remaining uh, items without too much trouble, but I do need to keep a close eye. Ooh, toxic buildup up to minor. Okay, you're going to have to stay indoors for now. Roofed only, please. Uh, Lady Wolfheart, you're fine outside. You're on initial. Yeah, you are going to have to take a long walk back and just focus on stuff inside the colony. We know no more long walks out down here. You've done an amazing job so far, evil friend. Well done, you. But while we're waiting, I'm going to allow a little bit of time to pass and hopefully bring you back when there is something important to report on. Namely, getting power generation back up. That would be grand. And it looks like Dark Havoc has finally woken up. That did not take long. That was two days. Well, I mean, I say it doesn't take long. I, I, I barely sleep for more than four hours at a time. Dark Havoc slept for two days, almost. But uh, well done, Dark Havoc. We are in the process of moving over the artillery pieces, and we have done a fairly good job of uh, shifting large amounts of, of everything into some manner of storage or another. We've also got power back up and running. What is Dark Havoc going to do? Feeding a pack of survival meal to Ica, who, <laughs> interestingly enough, is on an insulting spree against Lady Wolfheart. Uh, it was uh, kind of amusing. That didn't last very long, and uh, Ica basically didn't ever insult her, as far as I'm aware, because he was in bed the entire time, which was uh, quite amusing. That being said, uh... Yeah, uh, you were insulted. How how frequently? Oh no, no, no. I, I don't think I could actually ever got out of bed during that entire episode, which I am perfectly okay with, honestly. Uh, okay, well, uh, we've got a couple of things that I need Dark Ava to uh, get to work on. Human norms are not going to be a priority, not just yet. We're going to uh, wait a little bit longer on that one, but uh, our food is all but ready for Ica to uh, harvest and bring in and a lot of the wounds have been uh, been uh, worked on now uh, at this point i'm going to drop these back down to priority level twos and we'll see how those go in fact evil friend i want you to clean rather than haul and that's going to be true of bone dragon actually bone dragon and peps I i'd like you guys to clean uh, and then you can do a, a little bit of uh, research as well uh, well actually no no looking at that i think probably research is off the cards for uh, sorry yeah uh, cleaning and, and hauling won't be there for peps i right? i'm going to prefer peps uh, to prioritize doing research over other things but uh dark havoc is straight in there and getting getting cooking i am extremely pleased to see this extremely pleased now do we butcher insect here? We do. So uh, I can only assume that uh, we're going to get on that fairly quickly. And although it's not going to be the best kind of meal for our colonists, it will be some sort of meal for them at the very least. Uh, he is going to go and meditate at the grave. Well, it's been quite some time. So that doesn't surprise me. At all, and Peps is already bringing up the mortars. Oh, that's fantastic. Yoko is currently uh, resting at the moment. Oh, rather, she was. She is in the roofed zone right now. She is not allowed out for the time being. That being said, she's managed to get up to 8.4. How is that? Oh, it's probably that the, uh, the zones, if we have a look at roofed zones, I imagine some of them may be outside. Yes. 
that's a bit of a problem uh, because it does make these areas valid locations for someone to go to. So I'm going to cancel these. I don't want these being treated as roof zones. Although they are outside of the colony, I don't want anyone using them to go out there. It, this one... I want someone to, to come down here as long as they've got the everything trait. But uh, Yoko shouldn't be, be heading out any further than that. Let's have a look at the roof zone beyond this. Yeah, pretty much everywhere else is uh, can be reached by going through tunnels. So Yoko should be fine for the most part. And there we are. We're getting some of the blood cleaned as well. I'm very, very happy about this. Ika is not presently uh, ready to get up and wander around, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, once this uh, cat from the Gladius is resolved and they should uh, get up and about. I mean, I could tell them to stop having bed rest, I guess. But realistically, no. I, I do want them to stay in bed for the whole time if we can uh, if we can afford it. Now, I'm getting a little bit concerned about the uh, battery charge. And so I am... Well, you know what? I'm going to leave that one there for now and I'll allow it to uh, build up its full charge in time. How many uh, many bricks have we got? We haven't got too many granite blocks yet. We're getting there. Uh, right now we are having to wander off to, to do most of this, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. And news do not translate! Uh, I mean... <laughs> You know, we'll sell that as soon as we can. That was the Psychic Silencer, I'm almost certain of it. But uh, I'm noticing that Dark Havoc hasn't really taken care of too much. I mean, he's quite happy being surrounded by Graves right now. So, I, I, you know what, I guess I'll, I'll let you do that. He is going to focus most of his uh, time on getting up to the desired Psy Focus level of 50%, and that's fine. Iker is now fully healed and is immediately gathering items and has thrown apart. Wow. <sighs> okay. Uh, how about you go in the tent, the party, Dark Havoc? Do you feel like that? There we go. Good, good, good. Pepster, you can do the same thing. Let's get everyone in there. This is going to be a big thing for the colony. We haven't had everyone uh, together like this in a long while. Uh, Lady Wolfheart is bringing in some items. There's no point in interrupting that since she's going to be on the... Really? Why? Innocent prisoner died! Ah. <sighs> Do you feel that Evil Friend had something to do with it? I mean, I could understand her if you were going for Dark Avak with this one. In a party as well, though, Bone Dragon. Couldn't you have waited until after the party? I mean, come on now, really? That's just mean. Evil Friend has left now. He's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not hanging around with this. i got better things to do, like eating my food. And then I'm going to go and do other things. Get out of here. This is my workroom. I imagine him saying. The party's been called off. Oh. There we are. I guess uh, the the party didn't didn't uh, last. Let, let's have a look. Did you get a uh, attended party? Uh, I mean, you actually care that that uh, a couple of people died as well. Yeah, it looks it looks like the party was called off. That's that's a bit of a shame there. Okay, well, uh, oh well. I guess on that one, not much we could do about it. Yeah, uh, Lady Wolfheart is uh, back in a uh, pretty pretty rubbish mood though. Hmm. I'm not too happy with that. You're going to hold this up there, and that's fine. I'm going to allow the sandbags to stay there for now. We're not going to worry too much about this one. But very soon, I'm going to remove the uh, storage zone over here. In fact, uh, damn it. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dark Havoc, I'm afraid you're going to have to go and arrest Lady Wolfheart. Uh, we're going to need Lady Wolfheart to... Go to bed there. Yes, I know. I know. It sucks, but we need it done. Go and arrest Lady Wolfheart. Lady Wolfheart has a small chance of resisting this, which is pretty impressive. Uh, pretty much anyone else is like, yeah, okay, I'm coming along. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna resist. But Lady Wolfheart's like, well, no. I mean I mostly will, but if you catch me at the wrong time, it's gonna be the end of you. To be honest, Lady Wolfheart's a bit of a badass. Let's let's be perfectly honest with ourselves here. Um, right, we're going to delete that zone or simply drop its priority. In fact, I'm going to drop its priority all the way down to low. Right, Dark Havoc, I would like to release Lady Wolfheart. She's not at all going to be happy with this, but, uh, you know, it's the thing you're going to have to do. Please release a Lady Wolfheart. And there we go. Uh, Lady Wolfheart, if you would care to go and grab your heavy SMG, and then we will allow these beds back for the colonists' use. There we go. All right, that wasn't that wasn't great, and Lady Wolfheart is not going to be happy about that. Her her mood is going to be awful as a direct consequence of this one. Was imprisoned. Thankfully, we've only got uh, two point six days before 
the, the mood debuff starts decaying. Now, this is something to bear in mind. That's a pretty hefty mood debuff, 9. The anima tree, when we chop it down, is going to have an enormous mood debuff. Particularly for the person who cuts it. For everyone else, they'll feel something, but it won't be quite as severe. Now, we're probably going to uh, approach this in the same way that we have Dark Avak. Uh, so he decided to redirect his anger at Ica. Why? Why couldn't you? Oh, evil friend's in bed. I mean, Bone Dragon, I'm going to arrest you in a moment if you don't stop this nonsense. Really, I will. But, uh, or is he going straight? No, he's... Go no, there we are. Okay, you stopped. You're lucky, because I was about to arrest you. Uh, but uh, we're probably going to approach this in the same way that we have Dark Avak butcher humans, and then the whole colony has a bit of a debuff because he butchered humans. But if Dark Avak had been inclined to be particularly... Uh, grossed out by cutting people up, then, you know, he would have a much higher um, debuff for being the one to have butchered them. Uh, and we're probably going to use Dark Avak in the same way to deal with uh, the Anima Tree, because generally speaking, Dark Avak's mood is much easier to manage than almost anyone else in the colony. Uh, what are you doing? You are butchering a top? No, no, you're not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, w is there something in that top that I couldn't see? Maybe there is still a torso in that in that parka. I don't know. All right. Well, we're not going to be able to cut up uh, any people for a little while, so Dark Eye is going to continue ha having to wait on those delicious, delicious human noms. But uh, we will get there, don't you worry. The corn plants are almost grown, and Dark Eye may well be able to make quite a lot of delicious meals. And mm, well, the insect meat, people wouldn't appreciate it, even if it was a fine meal. So we won't worry about that one too much right now. I am going to be growing the growing zone reasonably soon. And I'm thinking we're going to either do it down here or over here. Uh, probably this one, because it's a little bit easier to build into the rest of the colony. And uh, we already have a wall facing out this way. Whereas if we put a, a room over here, we'd have to make a way of getting in there. And we'd introduce some some extra places and extra points of vulnerability in our defenses. Whereas this one's not really going to introduce that much more. Uh, so that's where we're going to be going with, with that one. And hopefully it will work out for us. Now, as soon as these batteries are fully charged, I'm going to disconnect one and start charging another. And uh, slowly build those back up again. Now, we've got a lot of work to do. Wow, so much has happened in the last little while, but we will get to it and it will hopefully work out for the best. Uh, this is going to be our little chimney area over here for a, a cooler, and that will help out keeping these corridors nice and cold. Uh, right now they're being kept down to 25, which is great. Oh, Yoko has given birth. How many pups? You've got one wag puppy. Oh, this is marvelous. Truly. Right, we need a, a new new bed in here. You know what? Hmm. Okay, this one's for Yoko. I can't designate it as for Yoko, but it's uh, no, that's quite annoying. There is a mod that you can get that will allow you to do that, and I may actually install that mod purely for the ability to get Yoko and her pups to sleep in the same room. Um, do we have cloth? We don't seem to have much in the way of cloth. No, we've got 50 there. 22 alpaca wool. All right, and we've got some thrombo fur. Uh, all right, how much do we need? for a proper animal bed. 40. Okay, well, we can't make it out of cloth. No, we can't make it out of, uh, sorry, uh, alpaca, but we can't make it out of anything but cloth. <sighs> Look, I know everyone else is gonna be on the verge of breaking as a direct consequence of this, but this is super special important, okay? And since we're gonna be doing it at all, we may as well do the whole lot. So one, two, three, uh, six, seven, eight. Dark Havoc, I need this done as soon as you wake up. As soon as you wake up, we need everyone cut up. It is going to drive some of our colonists to awful distraction. But we have a new wag puppy. It needs food. We're going to make sure that there is plenty of food there and also a proper bed for it as well. And we're also going to replace that bed with a, with a better bed uh, in addition. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get all of this done. Oh, quest available. The Secret of a Daraya. Okay, well, let's have a quick look at this one. This one's expiring in seven hours. A 44-year-old named Daria is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you at Noble Rest. There's some kind of threat following Daria, but she's unwilling to say what it is or when it might follow. Uh, then I'm kind of certain that we're not going to accept you. Sorry, but no. Be gone. Now, forced weather for pay. 
pretty much the overriding uh, response was go for the bow. So we're going to accept the bow. Further to that, it uh, suddenly dawns on me, we haven't yet named Turkey One. So let's find out what Turkey One's name truly is. Say hello to Snickersnaps, who may or may not be food in the near future. Hopefully not on that one. Now, we've got a new pup, and a new pup is obviously going to need a name. So, uh, once again, you're more than welcome to uh, to let me know down in the comments if you would like to uh, have your name on our WAG puppy down here. Now, I'm going to immediately start training them to guard. You are not allowed out of this zone. This is the only place you're allowed. Full stop. And for now, uh, Yoko. Let me have a quick look at Yoko. How are you, how are you doing health-wise, Yoko? You're okay again, so I'm going to allow you to be unrestricted. You can go wherever you want once more. And hopefully uh, we'll get more and more of these items brought in. Lady Wolfheart, uh, this is going to be some rough times for you very soon. I am sorry about that. A weather control machine has begun affecting the weather. Uh, so we've got force weather. It has not overridden the toxic fallout. Uh, transport pops have arrived. Fantastic. Jump to location. Where is that going to... Uh, that does... Hmm. Oh, no, there we are. <laughs> I was a little bit worried there for a second. Now, Dark Havoc has currently got a shield belt. Obviously, with a shield belt, he won't be able to use a bow. But... I am going to tell him, uh, I want to clear your current, uh, can we clear your current orders? Uh, let's see if there's, yeah, cancel prioritize work. Once you wake up, I want you to equip this great bow. We are going to have Dark Avak in combat gear going out and, uh, uh, with a, a bow. It's, it's going to be grand, all right? It's going to be amazing. Let's have a look at, at gear. Overall protection, overall armor is 104% for sharp, 43 for blunt, and 61 for fire. That is pretty amazing. Now, I am hopeful that we will also be able to make use of the shield pot belt in the future. I There are some mods out there that allow you to have like secondary equipment, like an offhand weapon, things like that. Dark Avak isn't going to need one. When things get a little bit too dicey for Dark Avak, he'll just drop his bow and resort to punching people or biting people, as the case is quite often. Um, but he's got bionic arms. He does a lot of damage when he punches things, and we can improve on that even further. But the shield belt, that's the thing. We'll, we'll decide on a case-by-case -case basis whether he's going to be equipped for or a kind of shock charge or more um, long range. Really? Yorkshire Terriers have joined? Wow. Oh my lord. There's an awful lot of pups. Uh, well, we do not have the food for you. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, let me have a quick look at something. We'd be lucky to get much of any any money back from this, maybe 40 each, something like that. But uh, once again, I think Dark Avic's going to go out on a, on a bit of a road trip and take these pups and give them a chance at life elsewhere. We don't need the meat. We've got a lot of food coming in, and there's about to be an awful lot of, of, of humans cut up. That being said, the Yorkshire Terrier meat, I mean, no... You know, we've got a lot of humans. We don't need the, the Yorkies as well. And, and as a direct result of that, we're not going to take them unless we need them. Uh, how are you doing there? Up to 15%. I'm going to ask you to only uh, do things in the roofed zones for now. Let's, uh, let's sort this out. Evil friend, your mood is awful. Absolutely awful. Wow! 33! What on earth did you say to him, Bone Dragon? Insulted his way of thinking. Viciously insulted his recreational preferences. Compared evil friend to a weasel. Flagrantly insulted evil friend's way. Wow, his weight. Wow. You went there, my lord. His jawline. Compared him to a dragon. Hey, what are you trying to say? You called Bone Dragon, for goodness sake. Loudly insulted evil friend's skills. Hurled in... Uh, invective about Evil Friend's accent and flagrantly in insulted Evil Friend's eloquence. You cad. 
You cared. Poor evil friend. Doing so much work. And then gets treated like this. How dare. How very dare. Right, we've got a jade sculpture of a normal quality. We've also got another jade sculpture of normal quality. Let's have a look at these. Portrait. This piece is shaped like a thatcher covered in gore, playing backgammon with six witch doctors. The scene takes place on the outskirts of a township. The overall composition is square. That is anything but square. Uh, hide. This sculpture bears a depiction of evil friend searching for shade while with cracked dry lips. Evil friend's clothes are tattered and torn. The static sculpture of the image almost conflicts with its photographic style. The image is bordered with nine farmers. This representation relates to evil friend getting heat struck on the 13th of August, 5502. Wow, okay. Uh, what are you up to right now? You're just going to clean some dirt. We don't have any more jade to make any more of these items, so I think it's probably probably time for us to go for a bit of a wander, really. Um, we are going to need the meat soon. Uh, we're not going to take the pepper with us, though. Uh, and if we butcher any corpses, we need to butcher them all. Oh, this is an awful time, because uh, I can't really decide what we're going to do. But we need to get these uh, Yorkies out of here. Perhaps, perhaps this is a trip Dark Havoc's going to take on its own. Yeah, I think this is going to be a trip Dark Havoc takes on his own. He's going to take his masterwork, uh, masterwork bow. He'll bring the shield belt with him. Did we pick up any weapons? Any particularly good melee weapons? We've got a normal wooden warhammer. Uh, let's have a look at you. Melee armor penetration is 24, 6.2. Okay, that's uh, not actually too bad. Did we get any others as well? Uh, maybe. maybe. Maybe we did. We'll have to have a look into that. But for now... I think this should be good enough. Let's uninstall this battery. Uh, hopefully Lady Wolfhard can take care of that one quickly. And then we'll install this one, start charging it up. And Lady Wolfhard is immediately on that, thank you very much. And we'll charge that one fully, and then we'll uh, swap out for this one soon after. But uh, I think it is time that as soon as Dark Havoc's got that bow, we're sending him out. We, we need to get these Yorkies out of here. Uh, he's going to go and have a quick, a quick norm. There we are. And ideally, how many more of these can we make? We can make a long pork meal. Uh, no, we can make some more bulk vegetarian meals. Okay, you go ahead and make as many bulk vegetarian meals as you can. It's only going to be a day away. Uh, we should be able to get out of there, but these, these uh, Yorkies are doing some damage to our, our stores of meat. And that is not something that we can allow uh, for very long. Uh, Okay, we need to get out of here right now before I am tempted to turn the Yorkies into food for our puppy wag. All right, let's head over to the world. We'll take along the two jade sculptures with uh, whatever uh, silver we have. We'll hopefully be able to get a uh, bit of trading done. Now, Dark Havoc's not going to be able to carry an awful lot by himself, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Evil Friend is on the verge of losing it, unfortunately. All right, let's form a caravan. Dark Havoc is coming along, obviously, and then all of our Yorkshire Terriers are going to be coming with as well. Let's grab every single one of them. There we go. Now, some of them have eaten, some of them may not have. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a tight one. I'm going to bring along two meals, or maybe just one. Uh, honestly, let's choose the route. Let's see how long it'll take him to get there. It's going to take 1.7 days, so yeah, we're going to need to bring along some meals, but even then, Dark Havoc's probably going to get a bit hungry, because the Yorkies are going to eat a fair bit of what he's bringing with him. All right, we want to bring... <laughs> sure, we'll try and trade away the unused. Do not translate. Uh, we'll also bring along our two of our jade sculptures, and is there anything else? We want one human leather bedroll. Can I grab a Warhammer? to bring as well. This gives Dark Havoc some options should the need arise. Uh, in terms of the human leather um, clothing, we could bring along the duster, honestly. Uh, now, that would push us a little bit over over maximum weight. That's five kilos. Wow. Maybe I won't bring that with us. Yeah, I'm going to leave that behind. Okay, we'll arrive there in two days. Uh, maybe I should bring uh, an extra meal as well the yorkies are going to eat it unfortunately but uh, it may give dark havoc just a little bit more time your caravan has no food and will become hungry very quickly now it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine we'll be okay continue all right so there there we go uh hopefully we can get uh 
the Yorkies out of here before they do any more damage to our food supplies. Uh, specifically to the meat supplies, which they are making a, a beeline for right now, and I don't approve of at all. Right, the Yorkies are following Dark Avak around. Okay. Uh, the length that we go to to try and give you a chance, but uh, oh well. All right, Dark Havoc, hopefully you're soon ready to go. It looks like he is off to gather some items. Yeah, gathering supplies for the caravan. There we are. Uh, dromedaries join. My lord, Randy, what are you up to? I'm highly suspicious. Highly suspicious. Now we can milk these. <laughs> Ooh. I wouldn't mind that. Wouldn't mind that at all. But they're not a breeding pair. Hmm. I don't really think they're, they're particularly useful to us. Honestly. We could keep one. One is 21, so we'll probably slaughter the second. But uh, go ahead, go to the coop. We'll slaughter the eldest and keep the youngest. Uh, might might uh, help us out there. Uh, at the very least, we'll get a little bit of milk, and, and if in a dire situation, we may be able to uh, to slaughter that one as well. Uh, that shouldn't be the worst. Where are you headed to? Did you pick up the warhammer? I oh no, that's right. We we weren't taking the warhammer. That's uh, that's right. Uh, having to stand around waiting for the Yorkies to catch up, whilst uh, increasing our toxic buildup is not the greatest thing in the world. But there we go. Right, we've already run out of food. Well, poop, I guess. There's not a lot we can say about that. Uh, yeah, we probably... <laughs> yeah, the Yorkies just straight up ate the food. <sighs> I knew it was going to happen, though. That's the thing. Is we knew it was going to happen. Now, in terms of Dark Avax food, eh, we should make it okay. We haven't got that far to travel. He can fast a little bit or, or forage for berries where possible. It shouldn't be uh, too terribly bad. But uh, once the dromedaries are in a position, there we are. We are going to slaughter one of them. Now, who currently has any uh, tending skill? Uh, Pepsa. Pepsa may well be the one to do that. All right. Well, I will allow Pepsa to do it. And in fact, whilst we're waiting, our wild puppy is no longer going to be trained until uh, Dark Avak is back. I want to encourage it to be Dark Avak doing the training there. Okay, we're getting uh, a couple more items brought over from overhead in our second storage space. Now we do have uh, an ancient crypto casket there and uh, we will obviously be opening that up fairly soon. Uh, but I'm not going to be going out of my way to do that just yet. Now I do want this uninstalled if uh, possible. Ica, uh, you can go ahead and have some food. But then I want you to uninstall this battery. And then finally we want the uh, this battery in its place. Just try and build up the charge there and make sure we've got plenty of backup batteries. Uh, if you could work on that one right away, that would be grand. There we go. Thank you very much, Yoko. Such a good girl. There we are. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait for Peps to, to, to come round to be able to deal with that. Uh, I imagine the drum trees are going to eat some of our harvest, but it's not the biggest problem for me right now, I'll be honest. Flash storm's over. Good, good, good. Okay, so as things are going, I mean, you know, they could be significantly worse, but uh, they're not. They're not terrible right now either. Perhaps I still had a package survival meal to go with. Wow. Okay, well played. Uh, what are you going to get on to now? Uh, no. I think instead you're going to sort of the dromedary. That should be some decent meat for us. Let's go ahead and chomp. There we go. And pop that one down here. We should get uh, a nice a bulk of extra extra meat there. There we go. Uh, when Dark Ava gets back, he can take care of that. Now then, uh, major break risk quite a lot. It's fluctuating between major and minor, major and minor, major and minor. Evil friend, let's have a look at you. Where are your needs right now? It's it's going to start expiring in seven hours at least. There is that. And the innocent prisoner dying, that'll start expiring in a day. So you've just got to hold out just a little bit longer. I know your mood is really bad right now, but hopefully we can resolve. Why are you so happy? Oh, well, you weren't uh, being insulted, I guess. <laughs> All right. That makes sense. Uh, Dark Avak, though, halfway to his destination. Let's have a look at needs. Yeah, getting a bit hungry. We may have to purchase um, some food while we're there just for the trip back. 
the Yorkshire Terriers are getting getting a bit rough. Um, they're not going to last much longer. They're going to get there very hungry. So hopefully the, uh, the, the town has plenty of kibble available. But I shall bring you back when we are ready to trade. And welcome back. Dark Arvac is most of his way to his destination. However, malnutrition is now starting to kick in, which is slowing the, the progress down a little bit. But thankfully, due to Dark Arvac's uh, violent legs, it's probably not going to affect his movement uh, at all uh, above everyone else's. He's still going to be faster than the slowest other person, or in fact, some of the fastest other, people, uh, other animals in the group. And yes, I do consider humans animals. And uh, we have a visitor, but also, so I noticed, just in the nick of time, I might add, egg process, almost 100%. I actually noticed at 98. At that point, I thought, uh, I should probably check. Did I set this up? No, I had not. I have now disallowed fertile eggs being stored in these locations. In fact, I should make sure they're not stored here as well. Nowhere is allowed to store fertile eggs. Those shall be stored here. I've made a tiny little uh, drop-off point for fertilized eggs eggs so they should be sort of there if they get put into a freezer or anywhere that isn't really temperature controlled this can be extremely bad news bears uh we do not do not want that uh furthermore i should probably finish uh popping in the doors really shouldn't i i should i should let's uh pop those there and there we do need to set up a solution for dealing with the heat in this area and uh, we don't we're not quite there yet, uh, which is a bit of a shame, uh, but we will get there. Um, in fact, maybe I won't use um, marble doors there. I'll go for steel doors. They're, they're nice and quick to make. That shouldn't be too bad. Now, I'm hopeful that this room is going to be okay. It might, once it starts heating up, be a problem, in which case I may need to put those eggs somewhere else. Uh, for example, this room is actually temperature controlled. Hmm. Maybe that would be a better place to, to pop this. Copy settings. I want to make a new storage zone. Let's, uh, let's have it over here. There are no incubation style devices in the game. Unfortunately, that would actually be quite cool. Uh, let's get rid of that then. There we go. Because this isn't temperature controlled. It can get very hot in here and uh, heat as well as cold can ruin eggs. Lady Wolfheart, when you wake up, you can go ahead and trade with Mosquito down there, I think that'll be fine. We are almost finished hauling everything out of here. Ica, how are you doing? Uh, 13%. I'm going to tell you to uh, stop heading anywhere that isn't roofed for a little while. The eclipse is ending. Marvellous news. Absolutely marvellous news, actually. Uh, there we go. Right. Hopefully Lady Wolfheart will wake up fairly soon. Uh, we do have our slaughtered dromedary just waiting there. And, uh, right now, we are lacking some food in general that hopefully we can get sorted fairly quickly uh okay i'm gonna go and uh, nom some stuff there uh visitors from green yak comba uh leaving no 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 right i need you to wake up and trade with them right away they shouldn't be able to get out of here uh in time so there we go ha huh. just in the nick of time now what do you have here that we would like to uh, buy and or sell i don't actually think they've got anything of a particular value to me which is actually quite disappointing quite disappointing i must say oh well i, I guess um, yeah there's, there's nothing really here that i want to grab uh, i might buy the steel knife but honestly we can probably do better once we set up smithing so no, there's really nothing here. I, I guess we'll take the, the money for... Oh, Lady Wolf has grabbed the egg. That's how fast it happens. And if that got stored anywhere else, if it got stored in there, it would probably get ruined by the temperature more or less immediately. So let's keep it here. We're going to disallow anyone interacting with it. And this way, we should hopefully end up with a turkey at the end. Now, Dark Havoc is on the move again. Let's see. Uh, estimated time until they reach their destination 0 0.3 days we're up to minor malnutrition that is not good and mood is dropping like a stone as a direct result but soon a little bit of fasting that's all i'm asking from you uh, it, it pains me to to have to have an animal star because they don't get to make the choice uh there we go thank you very much yoko there we are everything has been hauled out of this location we can now delete the storage area we're not going to open that sarcophagus until we're good and ready, and uh, Dark Avak is, is back here. Frankly, I may need to get some more food. Maybe. Yeah, in fact, 
I all but I can all but assure that I do. Which means, Ica, as soon as you wake up, can you do some cooking, please? This is frustrating, but uh, oh well. Uh, one thing I could do, actually, is I could go into the details and only allow someone with a decent amount of skill. Now, what is Dark Avak's skill with cooking? Uh, oh, I can't see his skill right now, but I can uh, look in possibly social. Uh, I don't think. No, I'm not going to be able to bring up his his uh, card, unfortunately. Oh, that's quite quite a pain. Alright. Well, I'm going to say that these all of the bills here are going to have a minimum skill of 6. Let's just say 6, because I think at 6 you've got a very low chance of it ever causing any food poisoning. Emergency meals, though, anyone can do that one. 6 here as well. 6 there. And once again, Last resort meal, anyone can do it. So Ica should only try and work the emergency uh, meal order, which means they'll only try to cook three of them. Oh no, you're actually going for a bulk order, really. What is your skill? Uh, let's have a quick look at you, Ica. Mm, I have a skill of three. And yet here we are, cooking four simple meals. Uh, that uh, surprises me. Perhaps I wasn't quick enough in setting that up prior to uh, getting him to do it, so that might have uh, affected it in some way. Uh, let's go ahead and allow you to get that one done. There we go. That should be the end of that. You shouldn't try anymore. Caravan has arrived at Shafter. Oh, my goodness. Let's go over there and immediately trade. Right, first and foremost, uh, none of the Yorkies are in particularly good state, so uh, you're not going to make much from that, but they will get fed here, which is the important part. Now, we've also got two Whomping amazing uh, jade statues to sell, which I'm extremely pleased with. Uh, there's some varying bits and bobs here that we could pick up. Nothing that we really want. Uh, well, a prestige recon helm for a thousand one hundred. Uh, I mean, that's nice. Uh, steel flak helmet, so on and so forth. We've got a couple of items of of some interest. The EMP grenades. Now that that's tempting. Not that we... Well, actually, yeah, we could afford it. It's a shame we didn't end up with any of the particularly nasty weapons that we could have uh, sold. An Eltex staff for crazy amounts of money there. Simple animal ear. Side trainer bullet shield. Uh, a one-use super dose of mechanites, which trains a specific side cast. The dose is administered through the orbit of the eye, and it will train bullet shield. Now, what exactly does bullet shield do? Generate a spherical skip gate that sends all incoming and outgoing ground level projectiles to some distant place. People and items are not affected. Wow. Duration 15 seconds. How much heat does it take? Oh, 65. But you wouldn't need a, a, a belt anymore. In fact, you could possibly cast it on someone else. Yeah, 25. You could cast it on an ally who doesn't have a shield belt and give them 15 seconds of shield. Oh, effect radius five. Oh my goodness, it is a massive AOE a, a AOE bullet shield. That would allow you to make an approach or a retreat. Yikes. I want it so much. I want that so much. Uh, side trainer invisibility. Let's have a quick look at you. Again, this is another really high level one. Psychically manipulate the visual centers of everyone nearby, rendering them unable to perceive a particular individual for a short time. Lasts for 15 seconds. Self-human or animal, so you could target someone else and make them basically invisible. That is amazing. Those are crazy things. Uh, bionic spine, of course, is, is fantastic. Luciferium, I think we don't want any of that. Thank you very much. Uh, some tea, though. I think Dark Havoc has earned it. Let's grab, uh, in fact, let's grab... Uh, not quite as much of that as uh, we would like, but uh, let's grab 20 tea. We'll bring it back and everyone should be be happy with that one. I'm going to have to grab uh, a few meals. We'll just grab two. Two of the cheapest meals that they, they sell just to uh, get us back. Okay, and uh, then we will grab as much elk meat as we possibly can. So uh, that should be fine. There we go. We'll still make a, a little bit 
hey, you know what? I'm not I'm not in, inclined to sell to to buy all of this meat. We don't technically need it. We only came down here to to offload the Yorkies because it just felt horrible just wiping all of them out. Uh, we've made a decent little bit of a bit of cash there, though, especially with the the uh, trade of uh, art that we made, which is fairly good. There we go. Uh, it's changed from four to five due to trading. Very nice indeed. Okay, now Dark Havoc should immediately eat, and his mood should start to improve. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Uh, awful meal. Yes, I know what. <laughs> Look, you can't do too much about that one. You got some psychic tea, though. Drinking that tea made me feel great. I love this energy. Indeed. Tea energy. For days. Uh, we've got quite a lot of them, so we'll be able to share with everyone when we get back as well. Okay, we're, we're on to crafting whatever we can out of whatever we can, which is never the greatest place to be, honestly. This is not going to make anyone particularly happy, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you're going to be cooking a simple meal out of even more insect... Why are you going for that, though? When we've got rice there. This part I don't understand. I really don't understand, actually. Uh, I mean, I would much rather that you don't cook it there. Um, perhaps I'm going to remove insect meat completely. Maybe we should have last resort and last last resort, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll change last resort meal to include everything. So at that point, you know, if there's insect meat, they, they may grab that. They may, they may use human meat. Who knows? But uh, I would rather you not use the insect meat if you can avoid it. That's not something we really would want to be be making it. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, where are you off to? Uh, you're off to just do a little bit of cleaning. Okay, well, uh, you should be cooking another simple meal. There we go. Making it out of rice. That, that'll that at least stave off the worst uh, annoyances that people have. If we have a look here, okay, innocent prisoner dying. That's starting to come down now. The, uh, the insults have been forgiven, which is very, very good. Very good indeed. The imprisonment, that's going to be gone in a little while, and Lady Wolfheart's probably also dealing with that one as well. Uh, that's a bit of a shame, but it's uh, it, overall we get we're getting there, we're getting there. And uh, Dark Avak is on his way back soon, I should imagine. Wow, I could already dealt with the dromedary. All right, not bad actually. But that does mean that meat may be back on the menu in that regard, which is not exactly ideal. Let's have a look at Dark Avak. You're making your way back. Okay, so you've had a nice sleep. You'll probably be back before you need to rest again, which is fine. Uh, so you can then immediately get to uh, cooking some food. And our wag, mother and pup, have plenty of meat here to enjoy. Now, Ica has gone to sleep, so it means no more uh, food is going to be cooked for a little bit. But uh, very soon, we're going to see a bunch of corn available. And I'm extremely, extremely happy for that. Uh, we do need to get some more granite brought in, though. Uh, let's have a look. Slate. Some granite chunks down there. Let's grab those. I think that's granite over there as well. Let's grab that. And that... Oh, more granite. Okay, yeah. Let's grab all of this if we can. Uh, that would be ideal. We've got some more ship chunks uh, floating around the place. We've even got some sarcophagi over there that uh, I wouldn't necessarily mind bringing in and uh, setting up a proper little little uh, area for, for our more morbidly inclined to uh, meditate. Though, mm, we're down food again. I'm going to need Ica to, to deal with this right now before someone gets hungry and decides to try and have something to eat. There we go. Let's get that in there. And you can go ahead and make the next one. And hopefully the one after that as well. Now, Ica can cause food poisoning. His skill is low enough to uh, to do that. Which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Uh, let's have a look. How's your mood? Your mood's not terrible, actually. But you're cooking just in time because everyone seems to have been get, getting hungry around this time. And Dark Avic's almost here. Hopefully he gets in before resting. Uh, it'd be kind of annoying if he doesn't, but uh, we'll see. He's entering Noble Rest. He, he's on his way, but we'll see. We will see. I think he has more or less slowed, and uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if he doesn't actually make it in time, which would be frustrating, but uh, he will get here in the morning, which is uh, good enough, I suppose. Right, we need to uninstall you, Bone Dragon, if you would do the honors for me. Now, the nice thing about having the batteries here set up this way 
is that anyone can install or uninstall a battery. They don't need a certain crafting level in order to do it, as far as I'm aware. So that uh, allows us to get quite a lot of uh, work done there. Okay, someone's grabbing a meal. Uh, a little bit concerned. Uh, how about you cook down here before you do anything? I really would rather you didn't lose the meat, but... Leave it all out. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, that's the last one you're making. And then you're going to go somewhere else. There we go. Dark Avag is back. Dark Avag can take care of the cooking for now. Oh, my lord. Thankfully. Okay, and we didn't have to butcher all of those Yorkies either. I consider that a big win. I consider that a huge win, actually. And we even brought some, some extra tea. Uh, going straight to bed? No, 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 no. Dark Avag, I actually need you to take care of the electric stove. Uh, I know you really, really need a rest. The recreation stuff, and that's a massive a minus 20 mood penalty. Ooh, this is going to suck for a bunch of people, but oh well, I told you to do it, so. You're going to have some amazing noms, though. So, on that note, how hungry are you actually right now? You could do with a f bit of food. So, yeah, once you've made that, go and eat immediately, because that is going to massively restore your mood. Boom! There we are, cooked cannibalism. You don't need to have recreation when you can eat people. See, everyone everyone turns their nose up, but yeah, look how efficient it is. There we go. Let's get all of that uh, all of that long pork in there. I'm going to allow you to sleep at this point, though. We don't necessarily need you to uh, do any more just yet. I mean, it's generally better to get everything done at once, but we can go without it for a little bit. And everyone else can uh, drink the tea to try and forget the... the uh, the length that we've had to go to in order to survive here. And the evil friend, in fact, can uh, immediately start making some new human leather clothing. So, uh, all's well that ends well, in a way. Um, that being said, what I really desperately need, what we desperately need, are two human leather animal beds. I would be okay with just one, but two would be ideal. Uh, have we got enough there? No, we're going to have to wait for more to be, be, uh, be made, unfortunately. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, but oh well. Uh, it's getting over hot in here, and I imagine our animals are going to start suffering reasonably soon. Uh, so to this end, we're going to have to start considering where we're going to put the chimney. And I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking down here is, is ultimately where we want to put it. So let's go ahead and... Dig away these two spots. We will remove the roof there, have a cooler around here, and then have uh, walls out along the outside. Have two coolers to be able to cool such an enormous area in here. But as you can see, we are getting all of the wall built out here. And very soon, we're going to have a proper, uh, proper ranch, a proper little coop there, and everything. It's going to be grand. Right, Dark Avak is up and about, I believe. Oh, did he... Oh, no, no, it wasn't Dark Avak. Oh, right, someone else was uh, getting the animal bears ready. Oh, fantastic. As soon as we butcher the last couple of peeps, then uh, we will be able to get uh, Yoko or her pup's animal bed ready. Right now, we're going to try and keep them both there, and I may well install... Oh. Uh... No. No, you're not. You are 100% not, in fact, going to be doing this. Dark Avak, I need you on the move right now. Right now. Sorry, okay, you're losing your bed. Dark Avak, I need you there. I was about to end the episode. Please. Oh, my lord. I need you moving quickly. Thankfully, she's having to go this route. Who is she going for? Who are you going for? It's, it's entirely possible that she intends to try and go for Yoko or her puppy. Honestly, I wanted to see who she was going for, because if it was one of those two, then Dark Ava wasn't going to arrest her. I'll, I'm going to be perfectly honest. As, as important as a colonist as she is, if that was her target, and I had a way of finding that out without running the risk of her getting close to them and actually pulling it off, because when they're tame, you can just straight up take them out. There's no fight. They can simply be slaughtered. Uh, that was not a risk I was willing to take. Not a risk I was willing to take. I'm going to leave you there for a few days, actually. You're not even going to be allowed back out for a while. No. You are naughty, and you should should feel bad about everything you've just done. Uh, we are going to, however, move you to a different bed. Uh, could you... 
take Lady Wolf uh, to taking her to bed. Hmm. Uh, take her to the right room, please. This one, believe she has uh, has somewhere to eat. There we go. And could we? Uh, I don't intend to release you. No, uh, you're not going to get released. You're going to be reduced to resistance. We're going to chat with you for a little bit. I'm going to let the worst of your mood wear off. Because clearly, you can't handle the fact that we have to eat people now and then. The puppy needs food, damn it. I think she would probably give enough of the puppy. I can't prove it, and so we're not going to do anything about it. But thin ice, Lady Wolfheart. Thin ice. Oh. Okay, well, on that uh, that little bit of drama right at the end there, I think we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. I really do hope you enjoyed, though, and will be joining me for the next. We are so close to having a functioning ranch up and running, and when we do that, I'm going to either set this up or this up as a new farm for uh, food for our colonists, and that should go a long way to solving some of the mood issues, but uh, we'll see how that goes in the next episode. But until then, and as always... To take care, everyone.